Thank you for tuning in to my first year on tea. This is my intro video. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit about who I am, about why I'm doing this channel, et cetera, my transition, all that kind of stuff. So who am I? I am Ollie. I am a trans masculine non-binary person. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. Um, and I'm about 20 years old. I'm gonna turn 21 in August. I'm excited. Um, so I'm a junior, I'm a junior in college. I go to a liberal arts college um, in Upper Ohio, kind of near Cleveland but I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, so I have kind of a Southern perspective and I love Louisville, but I'm happy to be um, at the college that I go to. And at college, I study a lot of different things, um, but I'm an American studies major. So if you don't know what that is, I would recommend you Google it because that can do a better job explaining it than I can. But um, my focuses within the major are trans studies, trauma studies, um, mostly those two things. So I look at a lot of queer and trans trauma, and also like what does it mean to be trans, issues in the trans community, that kind of stuff, um, which is really interesting to me. And I also get to look at it from a perspective of race, of class, of sexuality, all those kind of things I kind of study, which is so exciting. And I'm happy to answer questions about kind of my academic work if you're interested. Yeah, so what do I enjoy? I really like music. Um, I've been on doing music in some way for my entire life. I'm a big music listener. I listen to a lot of music. Um, I've played in a couple bands. I've also uh, like organized shows. I've been part of that part, part of music. Um, and I'm also currently working as a sound technician. So I do live mixing for bands, which is great. And I have been doing that for about three years and it's like the funnest thing ever. <laughs> um, so yeah. I am also a zine maker. If you don't know what a zine is, it is like a, a mini magazine that's self-produced. So I make a lot of zines mostly about um, my transness, uh, about my sexuality, which I forgot to mention, I'm bisexual, uh, but I'm also on the asexuality spectrum, uh, which I could get into maybe in a later video. But um, yeah, those things, but also trauma and about uh, trans murder and all that kind of stuff. I do a lot of my like personal and scholarship work in my zines. Um, I also really like video games. I'm a big nerd. Uh, I play a lot of kind of like old school video games. I'm currently playing Wind Waker for the GameCube Legend of Zelda, uh, which is so fun. Um, and I also play a lot of Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is Bulbasaur, the cutest. Um, I love animals in general. I have Two, my family has two dogs, one whose name is Chauncey. He's my, the love of my life. I love him so much. I'm gonna see if I can put a picture of him um, in this video so you can see him too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit now about my transition kind of thus far. Uh, I came out as non-binary about three years ago, right after I graduated from high school. Um, I, but I've kind of known that I was trans since I've been in seventh grade. I just didn't know what non-binary was, so nothing really quite fit. Um, and when I came out, I didn't really expect that I would go on T or have top surgery or anything. I didn't really think I was going to transition because that wasn't kind of what I saw transness as. But um, as I've gotten older and as my trans identity has changed a little bit, uh, so has my dysphoria. So um, on January 5th of 2018, I had top surgery. I'm about one year post-op now. Um, and it was like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I'm happy to answer questions about my top surgery. I know that my transition has been kind of different than some other people's because I had top surgery before I went on T. So I'm also happy to answer questions about that. Um, and yeah, and then I went on T in early August. So I'm about three months on T now. I think one of the, the longer, I've been on T a little bit longer than some of the other people on this channel. Um, but I started on a really low dose of T. Kind of the person that I am, I wanted to take things kind of slow. Um, and I just got my my dose bumped up. So I'm gonna start seeing a lot more changes now. Uh, but the first three months was pretty much just some hair, not much else. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to be part of this channel. Um, I joined it for a lot of different reasons. I wanna share my experiences. I wanna share my perspectives, but I also wanna really uh, help people find trans community. And I wanna build a, a bigger trans community than I already have. I'm really excited to talk with the other people that are part of this channel and talk with you all, our audience, uh, about trans stuff. So I really recommend, or not recommend, I urge you to follow me on my social media, which I'll put in the description, um, or comment on this video if you wanna to get to know me more. I will answer your comments. I will answer your DMs. I want to answer your questions and I want to, um, 
build community with each other. So yeah. Um, I also have my own channel where I've started to upload some of my vlogs that I made after top surgery. So I'll also link that in the description if you're interested. Um, yeah, that's pretty much me. Again, I really want to reach out to you all and uh, get to know you. So please follow me and reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, thank you so much for letting me be part of this and have a great rest of your day.